I'm Dave Greenberger. Uh, I am one of the co-organizers of building the sales machine. I also run uh, sales at a company called Splash, which does uh, event marketing automation. Um, first of all, thanks to my co-organizers, it's uh, Eric Friedman from Expa, uh, Evan Bartlett from ZocDoc, heard of ZocDoc before, uh, heard they have a really nice office. Uh, Sam Jacobs, newly of The Muse, uh, and James Rappaport, we, we appreciate you guys all coming in. Uh, and even more importantly, thank you to um, Emmanuel for coming down. Uh, yeah, we really appreciate it. Also, thanks to the sponsors behind us. These guys are the ones that are helping to put this on, helping to give us uh, apparently armies and armies of pizza. Uh, it's scaled, it's closer IQ, it's sales off the home team. Uh, Sliced, Square Foot, uh, Splash, which is a really great company, and ZocDoc. Um, so thanks to all of those people. Um, I am very psyched for this, whether she knows it or not. I've been following uh, Emmanuel for some time. Uh, I've seen countless talks that she's done, and it always, I fill up uh, notebooks full of information afterward. Uh, so I'm pretty psyched to, to be able to get some uh, one on one time with you guys uh, to, to kind of pick her brain here. Um, I'm going to let Emmanuel go into a lot of the uh, her background, but if I could say myself, um, you know, she's built some of the more impressive enterprise teams that, that I've seen. Uh, she's been through multiple acquisitions uh, and she's currently running the, the team at DigitalOcean, which is uh, quickly becoming a very formidable course here uh, at NYC. So first of all, thank, and you're coming down from Boston, so yeah. thanks so much for you're welcome. coming in. I'm here a lot now. All right. Can you guys hear us on the mics? Yeah. Yeah. Perfect. Evan, it works. Um, cool. So I think maybe the best place to start, I don't love to take hours on background, but uh, yours is definitely worth talking about. Um, you know. The first thing that was interesting to me was you're coming out of the dot-com bus and everything that you told me about coming out of NYU. Maybe if you touch on a little bit how you got into sales in the first place. Sure. Um, let's see. So coming out of NYU in it was kind of a crazy time uh, for the kind of startup scene here in New York. And um, so I went to B-School at NYU. and. There was just a ridiculous number of startups and technology companies and everything who were vying at that point, and money was flowing like crazy, and I was getting literally offers over email, um, graduating even though they hadn't met me before. Uh, and but I, I guess caught the buzz of what was going on in the New York kind of tech scene in the early days, and said I got to join a startup. Uh, did a lot of networking. Happened to meet a guy uh, by the name of Steve Papa, who was uh, at. Harvard at, this com at a Harvard Cyberposium, which is kind of like an entrepreneur network for, for Harvard grads. Um, and he had this idea, kind of a beta prototype, and I saw it and I was like, this looks cool. And they had 12 engineers and they're like, we need someone to sell this stuff. And I said, sounds fun. And that was kind of it. Um, and the, the company at the, at the time was called OptiGrab, which is a really horrible name. And then we changed it to Indeca. Uh, and I was number 17, first like, non-technical hire, and it's a Boston-based company. I moved to Boston right after B-School here. And, um, and then we grew that to about uh, over 100 million, 400 employees, sold it to Oracle for 1.1 billion. So I was there for about eight years. It was a fun, that was a fun ride. And I literally, I mean, I didn't know, it was just this guy with an idea that I was like, all right, that sounds fun, let's do it. <laughs> Heard of Oracle before? Yeah, didn't they? It's not a bad place. I mean, we no one stayed through the acquisition. A few people did, but you know, the kind of people who join startups don't usually want to work at Oracle. So there wasn't a whole lot of evaluation. Going. You know, you were just kind of picking and going at that. No, time. I mean, I I had a whole lot of offers, so there was evaluation. I picked based on the product kind of in the market and what I thought was, yeah, what I thought had a, a, a chance to have a big market opportunity. Um, and, and the founders were just really smart. 
I, mean, I didn't know them, but they were really smart, and my feeling was, yeah, I, I just trusted that these guys could pull it off. Um, but no, there was, I mean, I definitely had to evaluate, and I, I think the thing I have a good eye on is a good eye for a good product, and like, is this gonna be a good product market fit? What's the, you know, what's the market potential? Um, those are the, I look at market potential and founders mostly more than anything else. And it just, it, you could say it was a little bit of luck, but definitely I, mean, I had enough offers that I had to do my due diligence. Yeah.